What's going on boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys. Post fight video. Amir Khan versus Marcos Maidana. As you can tell guys, I'm kind of messed up right now. I'm going to drink this very straight in the video. Um, and don't ask me where I got this stuff from. I got, actually I got it from a female. I decided to drink it in the video. Um, anyway guys, um, Overall, Miracom versus Marcos Maidana, and I'm going to sip and talk in this video. Um, Marcos Maidana versus Miracom, very good matchup. Um, it, was one, it was a matchup that, um, if you're a boxing fan, either you're expecting a knockout from Maidana or Maidana, I mean, excuse me, Miracom outboxing Maidana. Well, it's, it's funny without Coke anyway. But. Pretty much, it was pretty much what you expect. It could have gotten either two ways. Um, Amir Khan outboxing Maidana or Maidana knocking out Khan. And overall, you did just see the athletic differences and the um, differences in, um, in um, all kinds of attributes come from Khan and Maidana in the match if you look at the first two, three rounds of the fight. Um, Amir Khan um, came forward. You know, and, and pretty much press the action using the jab, used a lot of ring generalship in the matchup, um, moved, maneuvered around the ring quite well, and, um, you know, pretty much um, pressured using hand speed, um, kept um, kept Maidana at the end of his punches. Maidana did kind of struggle in the beginning of the fight to get inside in the um, early goings of the fight, but he was able to get inside and cut off the ring a whole lot later on in the fight. But anyway, how I scored the fight, actually I watched them um, all the rounds. I don't even remember much of the, the last round. I think I scored the last round for, um, I think I scored the last round for Maidana. But leading up to 11, I had scored, um, I, I scored the first two rounds for Amir Khan. Amir Khan um, came in, you know, and you see, like I said, you see the difference in hand speed also in the second round. You see um, Khan coming over the jab, um, using, um, you know, coming over Maidana's jab, using um, his own jab, using his own quick jab, um, countering, was countering um, effectively using hand speed in the matchup. And, you know, he won the first two rounds. The third round, I did give that one to Maidana. I gave the third round to Maidana because in this round, Amir Khan was, was uh, more on retreat more so than then, um, you know, um, having uh, Maidana chase him. So Maidana was starting to cut off the ring round four. I gave two to Amir Khan. Five, I gave to Amir Khan. I believe I gave six to Maidana. Seven to Khan. Um, eight to Khan. Nine to Khan. I gave, excuse me, I, I think I gave, I take that back. I think I gave round nine to Maidana, ten to Maidana. I believe I gave 11 to Maidana. Um, but... Then there's the point taken off, the point deduction, the matchup for using the elbow. Um, in the, um, I believe it was in the fourth or fifth round, he used the elbow. So he got the point taken off. But me, I had the matchup for Amir Khan, um, even without seeing that 12th round and being too drunk to see the 12th round, I guess. Um, um, overall, I just had um, Amir Khan just taking this matchup. And something that I did see in this matchup was Amir Khan came out very quick, came out blazing fast, and he kind of slowed down towards the later rounds of the matchup. He kind of slowed down, he kind of had his foot under the accelerator, and either, you know, the little body punches and the uppercuts may have slowed him down, who knows, but something that Amir Khan does need to work on is that defense on the inside. Um, if you look, uh, McDonald's laying the uppercut at will inside, and um, Amir Khan just didn't really have any answers for it. Even though Amir Khan's hand speed was a big difference maker, Amir Khan was, you know, landing from the outside and was able to get away with it against Maidana because Maidana was just, you know, throwing one or two um, big arm shots. And, you know, that's pretty much all he was throwing was just big arm shots. And some of the arm shots were landing. And he was, and one punch that he was trying to land was the left hook, and the left hook didn't really get there until the later stages of the fight when Khan slowed down quite tremendously, but he went in, got the victory. Um, a lot of people are 
you know, I've talked about his chin, whether or not he has a suspect chin. I do believe in the ninth or 10th round when he got hit, I did think it was quite stupid to stand there and, get, and continue getting hit, but he was kind of trying to prove to the fans that his chin's not as weak as a lot of boxing fans tend to think that it is. Um, but it was quite stupid, but hell, but hell he, he, you know, he got through the fight and, you know, did a very good job um, of outboxing Maidana. I think he made it more of a boxing match. And Maidana struggled to get inside during the boxing match. Well, because if you look at the matchup, every time, every time Amir Khan was moving when he was using the ring, Maidana was having trouble, you know, pivoting and getting his feet set because he has to have his feet set to throw. He was having trouble with that, and he was getting beat to the punch. And, and um, Amir Khan pretty much, you know, did a very good job of utilizing all of um, his advantages to to the best of his ability in this match. So, anyway, guys, Khan had a great match Saturday night. Um, but I got another video for you guys. And I'm going to take a sip of this. I'm going to turn the camera off. But, um, anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.